We all love riding on a hot summer's day. It is just perfection, isn't it? But sometimes we do get carried away and the heat gets the better of us. But what are the key mistakes to make when the temperature rises? Oh. Right, first up, this sounds like an obvious one, but wearing too many clothes when it's really hot, bit of a big mistake. Mainly because you're gonna sweat buckets and you're gonna overheat drastically to the point where you're probably gonna have to ring for an air-conditioned taxi home. Instead of wearing all the clothes in your wardrobe, try to bring a light rain jacket instead if you're setting off in a cooler morning air, for example, or maybe an old newspaper, stuff it up your jersey, keep the chill off you. First half an hour you ride, well, the sun rises, you start cooking like an oven. Try not to solely rely on just drinking water when it gets really hot. If you can, try to use a hydration mix. We here at GCN use SIS. A few scoops in our bit and mix it up and it helps replace all those lost electrolytes, which you really can it can happen when you're sweating a lot on the bike and the day is getting absolutely sweltering. Just drinking water kind of tricks you sometimes that you are hydrating and you're just not replacing those electrolytes as quickly as you could. Hydration mix really is a good one to get in your biddens and make sure you're hydrating properly. Sunstroke is real everyone, especially when you're out on the bike. It can be so easy to forget how warm it is and how strong the sun is when you have that chill from the wind and if you're spending hours and hours in the saddle all day long, sun cream, it's an important one, don't forget it. Thermal base layers, they can be really beneficial when it gets cold, so warm, insulate yourself to perfection, but on a really hot day, not the best idea because they're quite hard to take off on the go. You need to stop, take your helmet off, take your jersey off, take everything off. And when you're with a group of friends who want to head on up the road and leave you behind, can slow things down. So I'd recommend leaving these at home when the going gets hot. Instead, opt for arm warmers that are easy to peel down when you need to. You can use them at the start of ride when it's cold. When it gets hot, you can take them off. Base layers, especially the really thick, hot ones, save them for the winter. If you're struggling in the heat, don't keep it to yourself. Tell a friend if you're riding with someone and take it easy. You don't want to push on when you're really starting to fade. Best off to take a little break, find some shade, take some sips of liquids and rest up. Because if you do push yourself past your limits in the heat, it can get dangerous and it'll be really hard to get things back on track. Look after yourself, everyone. Similarly, if you are going from a cool climate to a hot one, perhaps on your cycling holidays, don't expect to be on the same form that you're in in the cool climate compared to that really warm one. It will take a bit of time to adapt, sometimes up to a few weeks. So when you first arrive, really hot balmy temperatures, take it easy, wind things down a little bit and gradually ease into the heat. Another mistake to make is to always ride in the heat of the day. If you do really struggle with hot conditions, I'd recommend setting your alarm clock, getting up early and setting off when the temperature is cooler. Finish your ride when the heat is starting to rise though, so you get at least a bit of your ride done when it's really hot. That way you can increase your adaption to riding in hot conditions. Gradually get up later and later using more of that hot part of the day to finish your ride off in. And before you know it, you've adapted that bit much more to riding in the heat. When it gets super, super hot, you want to think ahead and know where you're able to fill up your bottles. Because if you run low and you've got nowhere to top up that water, you're going to be in trouble when the temperature really rises. Use websites like refill.org.uk, which we have here in the UK, which lists all the places which you can refill your bottles for no charge whatsoever, saving on the plastic too. Also, if you're abroad in Europe, there's plenty of fountains along the route. You can use mapping apps like Kamut to find those. Main point is though, think ahead, have some stops dotted out on your route so you know where to refill your bottles. We're not camels, are we? We can't carry everything around with us all day. You'll be sweating a good bit when you're out riding in the heat, so up in your sodium content, making sure you replace any of those 
lost an extra, it really is a good idea. So that can be as simple as just sprinkling a bit of extra salt on your food at meal time. Good one though, especially if you're heading down south to the equator when things get really, really hot. So there you have it, a few mistakes you could make in the heat and also a bit of advice to keep you on the road. Let us know in the comments if you've made any big errors out of those hot conditions. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hope you found it useful. We'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, nice hot weather.